1,500 random pairs and they see the many, man, many uh, uh, terms there, values, they measure prejudice, attitudes, and personality traits. So what is the result? Before we come to the result, let me share my personal story to you. So back, back in 2012, I went to the land of the rising sun. Mm. Japan. Japan. <laughs> yeah. So for a business trip, a short business trip, and there I met my university crush. Oh. Yeah, long time crush. Can you imagine oh. in such a wonderful place? I was in love. But then when I, when we come back, when when I came back to the to Indonesia. We continued our conversation. We we even exchanged that make you feel my love lyrics, which is cheesy now, <laughs> cheesy now. Oh. And um, but unfortunately, fortunately, there came the election year. Do you remember the election year? There was a really hot argumentation everywhere, social media, and we. We had different perspectives, different points of view. Mm. But that was not the worst. That was not the worst. Then came 2015. Do you remember what happened in 2015? The LGBT rights. Oh. Yeah, that, that was quite really hot in Indonesia, right? And yes, of course, I had that kind of argumentation. It's, it became even hot. It was the hottest argumentation I had with him, which made him I think he unfriended me from Facebook. <laughs> so it was that extreme, you know? It was that extreme. <laughs> and then, let's come to the result of this research. Similar, similar life views. So the happiest couple, they have similar life views. Just like what Professor Angela Banks from Wellesley College said, that we should have similar things matter most to them personally. So it can be opposite. Maybe we have different personalities, but what really matters to us? Like maybe for some of you who are religious, religions are important, same religions. And maybe for some of you who like cleanliness, hygiene places, you will hate someone who are dirty, right? That's why what matters most to us personally we have to have the same, the similar things. And another thing is, from the another researcher, he said that all of us trying to create our social work, which make us comfortable to be ourselves, to to sometimes we can whine, we can complain, while we cannot do that outside. And for this, similarity is very useful because. Can you imagine if you if you share a complaint of if you white and another person which is your partner should, supposed to be a romantic partner but they don't agree with you? Of course you cannot find that comfort. But similarity don't always attract. Opposites don't always attract. There was another research by the Gresham College in London. They did this compatibility questionnaire which measured the lifestyle from many couples, lifestyle politics, child rearing, morality, and finances. And what is the result? Can you guess what's the result? The result is, if we are overly similar, we will feel like a brother and sister. So it will be very boring, no novelty. No novelty. <laughs> so, brother so, that's why. <laughs> brother so, brother so, everything it is. Because we are really similar. Nothing, nothing intrigue, nothing intriguing happened. Yeah, so, um, I once heard about this story from another couple that uh, when she wants something, he wants something that is similar and they can guess it, but then it became really, really boring. Even from the outsiders. And then, what is the happy medium from all of this? Is it, it uh, does, do the opposite attracts or attack? Then, this is the answer. 
the happy medium. You should find someone who have different passions from you, like different hobbies of different interests, where you can you can exchange, you can get to know each other words, you can adapt. But you have to also have a life on big picture issues. What matter most for you? Just like if you are, if you like you think that humanity is important, you should find that that kind of person because that uh, you cannot accept when that person become really rude to others. Or if you think that academic is important and you want to have uh, children that you want to reach uh, the highest level of academy, you should find another who will support it. So that's, that's, that's what this presentation is. You should find someone. It, it's, it's important to have differences also, to spice up your life, but you cannot compromise for what's really, really essential for you. Thank you. Cool.